We are in this field ourselves and working with complex products and services only. And one of the things we hear a lot, we all kind of believe my product is so different. My services are so complex. I cannot just scale this and I cannot just streamline it. I cannot just come up with that process. And I actually like to disagree. I wanted to show you guys something why I disagree, okay? So I understand that sales cycles are complex, but every deal ever made is going through the same discrete steps that the prospect needs in order for people to make a decision. I wanted to share with you guys one of those steps that we've identified. So with anything in a high ticket environment, you have a qualification step where you decide where you should be deciding if that's an ideal customer or not. You, you kind of have something there like case studies, your experience or references, which creates your report and track record, okay? Then you normally have something which we call the thesis buy-in. This is like the one thing the customers of yours have to believe in order to do business with you. Then the next thing is you normally show them the vehicles and features and the explanation how you get to those results. So either it's services or it's IT combined with services or it's tech only, right? But there is certain process steps that normally a customer goes through from starting with you and then staying with you that are done in order to get to results okay and then you normally have all the areas of anchoring your offer have your roi justification ready and asking for the close right and if you have sold deals you actually have been going through them maybe you're not aware of it if you want to understand how to identify what those steps are for your process give me a comment below and i'm happy to run through it with you